Hi, I'm Heather Anderson, and I'm the director of Curtain and Lights Theater Company's upcoming production of Little House on the Prairie, the musical. And I also play Ma Ingalls. And so we're going to introduce ourselves and our characters, and then we're going to answer your questions. So, you my, my name is Nathan Johnson, and I play Pa Ingalls. Hi, my name is Skylar Summers, and I play Mary Ingalls. I am Jim Anderson, and I play Nels Olson. I'm Malachi Orr, and I play uh, Cap and Tommy. I'm Vivian, and I play Martha. I'm Ethan, and I play Clarence. I'm Hannah, and I play Vivi. I'm Melissa, I play Ida. I'm Lily, I play Minnie. I'm Ella Kate Solomon, and I play as Nellie Olson. I'm Elena Loggins, and I play Laura Ingalls. I'm Melissa Wright, and I play Miss Bain. I'm Jeremy Wright, and I play Mr. Brewster. My name is Brittany Cortez, and I play Eliza Jane Wilder. I'm Sherry Perry, and I play Mrs. Brewster. I'm Jessica Phillips, and I play Blanche. I'm Eli Wright, and I play Willie Olson. I'm Samuel Brown, and I play Dr. Tan. So that is who we are, and who our characters are. Yeah. So now we are going to answer your questions. Thank you, first of all, for asking all these questions. They're really good and thought out questions. So we are excited to answer them. Uh, what is your favorite song from the show? If you can pick one. It took me uh, thinking about it. I think my favorite is All Be Your Eyes. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I really like Country Girls. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not being like oh, self absorbed, but it's just <laughs> a really funny song. <laughs> yes. I like Good Like the Wind and All the Hot Slams, probably. Yeah. I like the up ahead in price. Mm -hmm. No, it's fun. Yes, I like Teacher Girl. Teacher Girl, yes. Teacher Girl is special. <laughs> it's a special song. Do you have a favorite one? Um, probably Prairie Moose. Like, I'm not because I want to be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> but I just because I really like it. Well, my favorite's Wild Child, so you know, not because I'm selfish either, but just because it's a really great song. No, not that. I really like Country Girls. Mm -hmm. Yep. What about you, Ethan? My favorite ones is like the one Nelly sings, where she's in her. Is it without a movie? Without a Yeah, without a movie. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's my favorite too. Is it? That's, That's a, a good song. song. Yes, that is a funny song. I'm surprised. Do y'all have favorites back there? I have a favorite. You do? Fire what? in the Kitchen. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have a favorite. I like um, Teacher Girl, Uncle Sam 1, 2, 3, Part 4. I like Good. <laughs> I like all of them. <laughs> The whole soundtrack. Oh, <laughs> I, I it's more fun too. Yeah, they're all good. Mm -hmm. They're all good. Really Which one's your most favorite? It's so hard. Probably Uncle Sam. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of, of reprises in this show. So <laughs> you have lots of different ones to choose from. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Second question. How long do you rehearse? So we, we've been rehearsing since April, and because of the coronavirus, we had to get creative. And so the first couple of rehearsals were done via Skype, and then we moved, once we could go back to the park, we moved to the park, and we had some rehearsals in the park. And then once they opened back churches, <laughs> we kind of went into phases as well. And we were able to come here to uh, my grandparents' church and they let us rehearse inside. So we've been rehearsing since the end of April. And uh, as far as how long we rehearse, like we rehearse two and a half, three hours a night, three times a week right now. Uh, in May, when we were just doing musical rehearsals, we rehearsed two nights a week, and now we're three nights, and we're fixing to add a few more in there <laughs> just to get a little extra practice. So that's how long we rehearse, and we're rehearsing until August, until we open August 6th, which is five weeks from today we open the show. So let that sink in, everyone. Let that sink in. <laughs> um, all right, this is a good one. How difficult is it to learn all the dances, especially when it is a group performance? Oh, really? Easy. When it's a group performance, it's hard to kind of time everything with everybody because if you make one wrong move, then it's like noticeable because everybody else is doing the right one. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's hard because sometimes like timing, like if the music stops, 
you don't know what to do. You just like freeze there. <laughs> like somebody just said, Andy's coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> or like yeah. somebody screamed that I don't know something's running after someone. Just freeze. <laughs> Whoa. Or like if a T Rex was right in front of you in Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. My favorite movie in the whole world. Yes. It's pretty easy for me because I can just look at a, other people and kind of practice off of them. Well, good. And that's, yeah, that's, that's, awesome. that's like the same answer for me because I'm like usually in the back, so I just like, I mess up. <coughs> no one can see anything but my hands. So it has a pace to be in the back. Yes, to be does. tall. The tall but people always get to put in the back. Literally in my life. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else have anything about learning the dances? Y'all have all done extremely well, I have to say. This, this show, <laughs> this show um, is all new dances. Um, like it's, because the show is brand new, there has been, there's not a lot out there that we can look at other performances, other groups that have done the show and be like, oh, well, that's what they did. Um, so a lot of it we have, well, most of it we've done from scratch. Uh, Kathy Anderson, our assistant director, and Brittany Cortez and myself um, have spent months at this point choreographing the numbers and then teaching them. And some of the numbers would take us like two or three days to, mm -hmm. to put together and then we'd bring it here and they get it in one night. So yeah. it's very impressive, very proud. I'm very proud of each and every one of them because these are not easy dances. They are very complicated <laughs> and y'all all have just done exceptionally well. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. All right. What is the most difficult thing about preparing for a play? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yes. um, I say the first part is to walk into the room and not know what your partner is going to do. Like, if you've seen the show where it's three of us walking together, the script leaves it very open. Mm -hmm. And so you have no clue what's about to happen. And so you just walk out of there and you're just like, oh, okay, we're doing this now. Yeah. <laughs> to bring the original charm from the books and the show while also bringing something new to the table mm -hmm. because I think everybody in this cast would agree this show is iconic and how can we make these characters really come to life in a new interesting way yeah. and to do it in a way that honors the books and the television show because that's what everyone knows but then to bring our own spin to it is very daunting very daunting. <laughs> scary at times Kind of adding to that, I think another difficult thing is staying true to both like the script and the books and the TV show, but also trying to stay true to the real people because mm -hmm. this was their lives. Yeah, and, and that that's crucial. Whenever you do a piece that's based on real life people, they are the ones that your first responsibility lies to, and you have to honor them in it, and you have to keep them at the front of your mind. And then when there's been other productions of any sort, you have to, especially when it's as beloved as Little House on the Prairie, the television show, you have to make sure that you're not copying those actors, but you are playing the character. And if you play the character, then the performance will be similar to theirs because they were so good at portraying those real people. Difficult about preparing for this. Yes, I have to agree with what Skylar said, really, and what a little bit of what y'all have said too, as far as being like the character. Because for me, Miss Wilder is totally different from me in real life, totally different. So yeah, it's this has been really challenging but fun for me because I've always played roles that I can kind of fit myself into, and this one I can't. So with this one, I'm really wanting to have fun with it, but stay true to her as well and. It's just, it's really going to be interesting to see how this turns out. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking great, though. I can really relate to that. <laughs> I've been preparing my character easy. I'm annoying at home all the time. Well, there you go. I'm annoying. Oh. You're not annoying. You're not annoying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Yeah, making sure all the timing is right mm -hmm. is challenging at first. Yeah. It's like recording to uh, something. Like if you were in an animation, you mm -hmm. have to time perfectly with the lip syncing. Yes. Or like in a TV show, you mm -hmm. know how they they uh, like voice it and then when they do it in the show, they have like a speaker and they're like talking. Mm -hmm. And then during the show, it sounds clear. So it's yes. kind of like lit. It's, it's hard to explain, really. Mm -hmm. Like if you have an animation and your character is saying something, you got to uh, say at the exact same time. Right. right. It's, it's, it's really hard. Yes. It's really hard. Yeah, you, you. Uh, okay, so next question. How many cast members are in the musical? Does anybody know? Off the head. Nope. I have no idea. You are so close. <laughs> 23. Yes, 23. There's 23 of us. Oh, no, no, no. Very nice. Um, Alright, so this person had a lot of questions. Um, who is your favorite character? Now, not necessarily who you play, but who is your favorite character in the show? Nellie Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean and great and relatable. I love her. <laughs> if I were me in real life, I would slap her in the face so hard to the
which I'm not a violent guy, but I, my second favorite scene is probably where we get into the brawl and I get to punch yes. him. Yes! <laughs> That's an awesome scene. It's, we have a big brawl that happens on stage, so come see that. Yes. The school scene and probably the picnic scene. I don't yeah, know why. That's, that's, that's a fun scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. The school scene. The school scene. Uh, this, um, Sam says is the claims office. And the claims office, yeah. yes. That is very fun. Mm -hmm. yes. I was just saying, Kind of close between two. What the one of us is the one Nathan said, where it's just terribly awkward for Laura, and the other one is where Laura is teaching at school and finally kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah. I'm I'm listening to a labor input. I agree with Paul and Minnie. Uh, where yeah, I love those two scenes yeah. or three scenes. Um, the scene at the tree climb is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think my favorite is either. Make it home or fire in the kitchen. And then Fourth of July is pretty fun. Oh yeah. 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 So it's like all of them were great. And there's something we haven't done yet, so I don't even know. They might wind up being my favorite. During the I'm feeling they will. The they're the <laughs> There's some good scenes. But we won't tell you those things. It's a surprise. During okay. the 4th of July scene, I keep worrying that someone's going to fall over. <laughs> well, when we get on the big stage, it won't be as... It's like I did that that time. <laughs> All right. If you could... Okay, now here's an interesting one. If you could play any other character in this show, who would it be? <laughs> Ivy Nelly. Ivy Nelly? Nelly. I would be her. Yes. Nelly. Nelly? Oh, my gosh. Laura. Laura? I'd go Laura, too. Laura? Nelly. <laughs> Mr. Olsen, yes. Play Alonzo. Alonzo? Mm -hmm. Yes? I would play as Mary. Mary? Because she's so sweet. Yes, yes. yes. I would, if I had to be somebody different, I'd probably go with Mrs. Brewster just because of yes. Teacher Girl. <laughs> like that, oh my gosh, like when we were blocking, and I'm not going to go into it, but when we were blocking it the other night, like I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most fun role ever. I'm like, <laughs> Like, you were going to have so much fun. I was telling Brittany, I was like, I Cherry's going to I love oh, she's going to have <laughs> So, yes, you've got to see him as a person. Anybody else? No. Okay, this question is just for Nelly. Oh. Is it hard to play such a mean girl? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. <laughs> so, what do you like to, huh? Uh, yeah. well, okay, so, um. When I was little, my first word was no. <laughs> Just no. Yeah. Uh, like if my dad would come in, he would be like, hi, hi, uh, can I have a kiss? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> my parents would be like, you want to you go to Disney World? No. Do you want to go to the store? No. Do you want to go to uh, the movies? No. So I, I was like, as my, baby as my parents, <laughs> as my parents say, I was mean as a rattlesnake. Mm. <laughs> so, did you actually mean though, or are you just like, this is the only one I know? This is the only one I know. Is no. no. <laughs> uh, but in, in real life, I now to y'all, I, I might seem completely different, but for me, I, I try to be as nice as possible. Like I I You seem nice. nice. You don't seem nice. <laughs> Actually, on the Princess Theater stage, 
And it's been a dream of mine since day one of Curtain and Lights, almost 10 years ago. And so to bring this show, which has never been done in Alabama before, and has only been done very rarely because the rights only became available last year. And so there's only been a couple community theater groups across the country, most of them have been out west, who have done the show. So for this to be our first show in the Princess Theater and to be the first time that anybody in Alabama has seen it is every dream come true that I've ever had. And to do it with this cast, I mean, I couldn't have asked for any better cast at all. And, um, and it's very, while it's exciting, it's also, there's a huge responsibility to get it right, to make sure that we do it justice and like we've talked about before with the characters, but also with the actual story and make sure it's entertaining and that you're gonna enjoy it. And I think you will, <laughs> I really think you will. Um, did you have anything else to say about it? Okay. Anybody else? Yes. I was gonna add that it's, I think it's really neat to be bringing uh, this version of the show, because it's like people have, if, you have, if people haven't seen the TV show, you've at least heard of it or heard of the books or heard of the story, but it's like, it's really unlikely that anyone's seen it like this before around here, mm -hmm. so I'm really excited about being able to bring it like this mm -hmm. as a musical. Yeah. And that's something, too, is that a lot of people, uh, even you know, with the national tour about 10 years ago, Melissa Gilbert, who played Laura on the TV show, played Ma in the national tour. And when they first went to her about it, she was like, a musical? How did you do it as a musical? And even when I first heard about it, I was like, that was interesting how and I've had a lot of people ask me how are you gonna make it a musical but it's so well done and it's Little House on the Prairie really like you've never seen it before because it is a musical and they're singing and dancing and um, and all the elements to the show are there so I just think it's cool to set the bar <clears throat> like be the first one that's done it so it is really challenging because you don't have anything to look at or compare it to, like what we talked about, um, <clears throat> or like what Heather said, but you get to set the stage for, you know, other people that are going to do the show to either make it their own or, you know, and take a different spin off of it or do some of the things that we did and us give them an idea to start, you know, so it's really cool. It's very much like when a cast originates a show on Broadway, you, it's, your character to make it into what it's going to be and what other groups are going to see and try to mimic or try to um, come close, even if they try to do different takes on it, like Brittany was saying. But they're going to have your version in their mind, and so you want it to be a good version. Yes. <laughs> Next question. Let's see. That was a great question, by the way. Um, what is challenging about bringing the script to life? kind of talked a little bit about it, but if anybody has anything in particular. Probably because we're trying to bring in kind of material that they actually use, and so we're trying to make it as realistic as possible. Mm -hmm. so yeah, a lot of the well. props and um, a lot of the props have actually come from the homesteads of the Ingalls family or Almanza Wilder's homestead in New York. Uh, I have ordered props from all of the homesteads basically and so a lot of the props are very authentic and the replicas of the actual um, things that the families had and they owned and so that makes it really special to do that and then with the cast bringing in other set pieces and props and everything that are authentic from that time period or at least look like that time period it's it's going to be very authentic as far as costumes and sets and props go. So what else is challenging about bringing this to that? You quiet people in the back, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, just as a uh, person, just as a person living in uh, modern, just as a person living in modern times, like we uh, have, like we like we have like cell phones and uh, air conditioning and other uh, modern things. Mm -hmm. It's kind of inter it's kind of interesting to. Uh, it's kind of interesting to transport yourself 120 years in the past mm -hmm. and uh, and be like, this is a paradigm shift. Yes, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Yes. I think for everyone's characters, but 
for mine in particular, like I go blind in the middle of the show. So learning how to navigate that and not only just the blindness itself, but the emotions that go into that has been a little bit of a challenge. I know there are certain scenes that I'll look toward the books or the TV show and then I'll look at the script and there's almost discrepancies, almost not. And so just figuring out a way to convey all of those emotions while not taking anything away from the rest of the show and what's going on and just being as authentic as possible has been something very challenging for me. And the key to that is being as honest as possible. And that is the key to any actor is you have to be, to be convincing, you have to be honest and you have to open yourself up and, and so that can be challenging especially because this show is a roller coaster. It has many ups and downs. <laughs> for me, like, kind of showing it is um, trying to show, like, growing up, because the show doesn't take place over a week or two weeks. It take, the show takes place over several years. So I think that's... And you have to grow from, like, a nine-year-old to a 17-year-old. <laughs> um, the hardest part about doing it for me is um, doing something that, like, that my character would do that I wouldn't normally do because mm -hmm. like it just feels wrong. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it can be challenging when you place a character that is nothing like yourself because then you have to come up with this totally new person and and be able to portray that accurately. Who in the show is most like their character? I feel like I would try to. Uh, I feel like I feel like I would try to portray a uh, more caring kind of persona. And two, as a historical reenactor, I feel like I have more experience in this. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely think that's helping. <laughs> In real life, see, in real life, I'm more like Laura. <laughs> really, not so much now. I guess I kind of have turned into Ma a little bit because I, I, I tone myself down. But yeah, I was Laura growing up. Ethan. Ethan. Oh. <laughs> Who wins the free tickets? Now, if you don't win the tickets, 
still come see the show. Because the show is amazing. And if you didn't ask a question, come see the show anyway. Like, I mean, this show is amazing. It's great. Oh, it yeah. is great. Would you like to know the winner? Please come uh, see the show. Sure. All right. Let's see. Who's hog and the cheese? <laughs>